transition like coming from Australia to the U.S.? I mean, yeah, it's it's been an absolute transition. There's been many of uh, you know, I wouldn't say hurdles, but things to overcome. I mean, the snow for one, you know, it's a big problem with uh, the weather difference. You know, I'm used to the warmer weather, uh, and then you know the professionalism with the schedule. It's been, you know, it's taken some time to adapt. To, you know, getting up early, going to bed late, and uh, doing everything in between to give yourself the best chance to uh, be successful on the field. So, but I'm lucky that I have a good support group and, and coaches and specialists around me to. To, you know, help me, and uh, you know, I can't thank them enough. So, yeah, the transition's been pretty smooth. Speaking of your support group, John Smith, right? Yep. He was your former trainer. How do you feel he's prepped you for the college lifestyle? Yep. So Nathan Chapman and John Smith have both prepped you Australia. I mean, they've sent 70 plus guys to, to college, uh, you know, over the last you know decade. So they know what it takes, and, and I was with them for two years. So that they are. I feel like they've, you know, prepared me, uh, prepared me pretty well uh, to, to, you know, be successful. But you know, it's, it's you're not sort of, you know, unless you're entrenched in it and you're here, you're not going to, you know, uh, sort of have an idea of what's really going on when you're inside the uh, inner sanctum. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm glad I had them guys in my corner for two years, and you know, I look forward to working with them in the future. So, Coach Nyanis, he wasn't on the field role last year, but now he is this year. Yeah. How do you feel that's benefiting you having him? as your recruiter and now as your coach? Yeah, so, I mean, Coach O'Crew, Coach Nine, especially Scarry and Coach Ash have all been, you know, pretty instrumental into my uh, into my development so far through the winter and spring. But I would say um, Coach Nine, is, you know, he's a guy that recruited me and I've worked with him a fair bit. And, you know, his, uh, his communication with me has been, uh, you know, something that I, you know, I've desired as a coach and, you know, throughout when I played Australian, it was football. And, uh, you know, he's definitely a leader of men and he's really helped me in a transition from, you know, from both on the field and off the field, you know, you know, he's almost taken a father figure role. So, um, but on the field, you know, he's very, he's very good with special teams. He knows you know, intricate things, and yeah, he's, uh, he's he's been a good coach so far. So, so how's spring practice going for you so far in, in general? Yeah, I mean, it's exciting every every day. You know, we practice is an opportunity to get better, and I'm learning things, you know, as we go. Uh, I feel like you know, with you know, with the punt specifically, where we're trying some different things from what Anderson uh, did, and, and you know, he had a really great season. So um, I'm hoping to you know take off from where he left off. And uh, so far, it's been uh, we, we you know we've been we've gone pretty good. I think on special teams. Have you talked to Ryan at all, um, Anderson from last year? Like, give you tips or anything? Uh, you know, he said he said congratulations and, and, and hi and how are you and stuff like that, but <laughs> not anything. Um, not anything, you know, from a technical standpoint. I mean, he's pretty busy with getting tryouts and his future endeavours. So um, I wish him the best with that, and I, you know, I would like to speak to him um, if I can catch up with him. But yeah, he's a busy man. Uh, what are a couple of things that that you like most about about Rutgers? So I mean, there's plenty. Of, you know, the location next to New York, Philly. You know, the support group here. It is a really big family here at Rutgers, and, and everyone's embraced me. You know, especially coming from a different country without my parents and you know friends and stuff like that. Uh, you know, the facilities are, you know, top notch and, yeah, I would say uh, the snow, you know, where the location is, the snow sort of been a bit of a problem, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm adapting to that and, yeah, I would just say, you know, the, the family definitely, you know, especially because I left my family and friends, you know, the Rutgers family really supported me, so I would say that's the best thing. I'm talking a little bit about your friends and family back home in Australia. What's the first thing you told them as soon as you got to Rutgers? What did you tell them about Rutgers? Like the first thing that you thought was amazing and you just wanted to tell them right now? Uh, I would say just the intensity of everything around here. Like, we have sport and you know, our fans are very loyal and patriotic and our coach is very intense, but it's sort of ramped up a notch here and this is just at the collegiate level. So I'd say just the, trying to just get, you know, get their head around the idea of professionalism and the intensity associated with everything was a big, uh, was, you know, the first impression for me and I tried to, you know, translate that onto them when they asked me, you know, what's the first thing, you know, what, what was different and how's it going and stuff like that. So I'd say... Yeah, definitely the you know professionalism associated with everything. Any advice to future Australian countries that want to make a move over or to jump over in the US? Yeah, I mean that you know there's a lot of guys that been waiting in the wings to get to get college offers. And, uh, you know, I just say trust Nathan Chapman and John Smith. You know, that's what I did for two years, and and you know there's going to be ups and downs, but uh, if you put your trust in Nathan Chapman and John Smith, you'll be fine.